Hey guys, it's Wahima, but just call me Wa. Melanated! Welcome to today's episode of Morning Tea, where we sit in our sleepwear and discuss current events. Today's tea is bagged chai spice tea by stash tea, the same tea, guys. It's so good, I'm obsessed. But I did this, I brewed this sun tea style so i actually put it outside yesterday in the sun and uh, let it brew for like a full 24 hours okay let's start with some political tea here's the tea on friday north korea decided to test some missiles again this time claiming that their missiles can reach the entirety of the u.s mainland you know, I said last week that the U.S. Is, has now banned a U.S. travel to North Korea. But the U.S. is also putting sanctions on North Korea. North Korea is saying that they will take firm... What is it? What did they say? Respond with firm action. What the hell does that mean, North Korea? What does that mean, Kim Jong-un? I need to know. Californians need to know. Now, uh, U.S. president is saying, um, tweeting out to China, saying that China needs to stop and rein in North Korea. And China isn't doing their job. After having conversations about what China was going to do to North Korea, North Korea is still threatening the U.S. And now South Korea and other nations are running tests, um, you know, just drills, you know, to in the case of an emergency, in case of a North Korean attack. Like, what is North Korea even thinking? Like, okay, so North Korea, their allies are Iran and China. What is North Korea doing? It's like, you know, North Korea is like that little Shih Tzu that's outside with like other dogs and it's the one that's barking, but the other dogs aren't barking. So every time somebody walks by, it's like ruff, 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 and the other dogs are just kind of like laying there looking. Chill out, North Korea, chill out. So in other US president news, the US president went to a Boy Scout meeting or some kind of speech. He had some kind of speech with the Boy Scouts recently and he was saying, oh, President Obama didn't come and speak to you guys. So how does that make you feel? And some people in the crowd booed. That was stupid. Like why is, why is he even talking about Obama? There is so much happening with the U with this U.S. president. Like, so this, okay, this isn't even going to be political tea. This is going to be Trump tea, okay? <laughs> Change the title. Um, he put out several tweets this week talking about transgender persons in the military. It doesn't even matter. If somebody wants to sign up in this country to join the military, you should let them. If they're mentally and physically fit enough to be in the military, you should absolutely let them because I'm not going to join the military. So the people who choose to do that are brave, are patriots, they love this country and you should allow them to love their country. I thought we were past this. Didn't you think we were past this as a country that we were moving towards the future, towards equality for everyone and not, like why don't people see that? Regardless of race, gender identity, creed, religion, regardless of whatever, they should be treated equal and fairly. Come on guys. like. Let's do what's right. Um, so also Trump fired Priebus, which was his chief of staff. Uh, Priebus like put out this statement saying that he still loves per Trump and he's still a huge supporter. Um, and then he like, you know, moonwalked on out and they put in John Kelly and John Kelly was the, he was in another position actually. John Kelly was the secretary of Homeland Security and now he is going to be chief of staff. This is like crazy. I mean, it's not unheard of for um, a president to change their chief of staff, but like, Okay, usually don't pull from another section of your cabinet and put them in another one. Like that, from what my experience is, you usually don't do that, but maybe it is, maybe I'm wrong. Again, you guys do all your own research. I will have all the information down below. Please don't take my word as 100% fact. Um, I put the information down below for you guys to do your own research, okay? Please do that. Apparently Trump was at some sort of law enforcement rally. He made some comments telling law enforcement that they should be rough with the people that they arrest. When you see thugs thrown in the back of a paddy wagon, you don't need to be nice to them. That is the wrong message. And there are several law enforcement circles who are pushing back. Boston is pushing back, Chicago pushed back. They're just rejecting this idea that they should be rough, that the president is condoning that kind of behavior because you want to strengthen the ties between police officers and the community. And being rough with someone that they've arrested is not going to do that. Police already have a negative image in this country because of all the police brutality against people of color. And for him to get up there and say that just really makes it seem as though, you know, some people might see that as tr as Trump supporting cops, but like they don't want their cops to do that. They want to try to repair their relationship. And this is just exacerbating a negative image that law enforcement all across, across the country don't want to have. This man is disgusting. He is everything that we do not want this country to be. And somehow he got elected and I am so ashamed. All right, so let's move on to some pop culture tea. Here's the tea. All right, so I had to move this one over to pop culture because it seemed too 
pop culture-y for politics. So Anthony Scaramucci is the new White House communications director, as I stated in last week's episode. And he's done two things this week. One, he's pretty vulgar. And then apparently his wife, who he's in the middle of a divorce from, is pregnant. They started, they get, think they started their divorce papers when she was eight months pregnant. They've only been married for three years. He wasn't there for the birth of his child. The child was born two weeks early and he sent her a congratulations text. The text said, congratulations, I'm praying for our son. If that ain't cold hearted, I don't know what is. Like at the end of the day, if you don't like your wife, that's still your son. He was born two weeks early. Like he was having dinner with Trump when the baby was born. The Emojis movie. Apparently the Emojis movie is really, really bad. I don't know, I've never seen it, but it's at a 3% on Rotten Tomatoes and I thought it was funny because there's been posters of it everywhere. And you would think that because it's the kind of movie that even adults could watch because we all use emojis, that it would be really good and apparently it's not good, so that sucks. But onto a movie that is good and did do well its opening weekend, Girls Trip. So Jada Pinkett Smith, Queen Latifah, Tiffany Haddish, and Regina Hall are in Girls Trip. I went and saw it. It is very funny. Um, there are some scenes in it. You know, I'm a little prude is what I'm realizing. There are some scenes in it where I was like, ooh, this is too much. This is too much for me. Too much. But it is a really, really good movie. And I'm excited that it did so well. It is officially 2017 smash hit comedy breakout like movie. Like it made the most money of all the comedy movies that came out this uh, year. Um, and not just women comedy movies, all the comedy movies that came out this year. So that's really, really good. Uh, I did 30 million in its first week and then it did an another 20 million this weekend. So congratulations to those women. It still shows the power of female comedy, especially women of color female comedy. So congratulations to those women. Uh, all right, you guys, that's it for this week's episode of Morning Tea. I'm sure I missed a ton of things. Um, I just had a rough, rough week, you guys. Go on ahead and join the conversation. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if I missed anything. You can also tweet me or Instagram me. I check those mediums as well. Keep me updated. Let me know what you want me to talk about for the week. Thanks to those of you who do let me know what I what you want me to talk about. It also helps me to stay abreast with the news because sometimes I can get lost in the week with work and other things. That's it. If you like to see um, where I got my pillows, it'll be down in the description box. If you like what I do on this channel, you can go on ahead and click the link to become a Patreon patron. All right, so remember to be you, be true, and find your place. Thanks, bye.